The Safari Express is the fastest locomotive in the wilderness, but not fast enough to deliver all of the godly messages Ranger Reggie wants to distribute to his campers. So he's enlisted the help of his friend, the infamous inventor and engineer Jasper J. Johnson Jr. to see just how quickly he can make her fly down the rails. So let's stoke up the engine, crank up the speed and climb aboard as we deliver those inspiring letters aboard the Safari Express. Jr. Welcome back aboard the Safari Express. <laughs> oh, and welcome to you, Watson. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson. Oh, oh no. you know that have to call me Johnson. <laughs> I don't? You don't. Oh. Uh, uh, you don't want to add anything else? Nope. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I thought he was going to do the whole Mr. Johnson thing. Oh. You know that have to call me Mr. Johnson. My name is Jasper J. Johnson Jr. Yeah. But you could call me Jasper, or you could call me Junior, or you could call me Jay. Oh, or you could... mail call! Perfect timing. I'll check the mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this looks important. It says warning on it. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what, Watson? This is addressed to you. Why don't you go ahead and open it? No, I don't want to. Who knows what's inside? Well, we'll never find out if you don't open it. I'll tell you what, you open it. Well, I don't want to open your mail. I give you permission, you open it. Well, okay. Wait, wait. What? Okay, now go ahead. Watson, it's not going to explode. How do you know? Okay, fine, I'll open it. Boom! Oh, <laughs> don't do that. I don't like that. Oh, what does it say, sir? Oh, it's just a little note to you. It says, Dear Watson, you have two days to submit all of your medical forms if you want to run in this year's engineer runaround rally race. Love, Drothelmeyer. Oh, is that all it says? Well, why did he have to mark it with big letters that say warning? I guess he wanted to warn you. Oh, yes, but warnings are scary. Oh, no! Warnings are a good thing. Why, people who love us give us warnings to keep us from heading for trouble. Huh. Even God uh, warns his children. He does? Oh, yeah, in the Bible, he's always warning us, especially when we're heading towards a difficult or dangerous place. <gasps> we should check the Bible blimp for more warnings. That's a great idea. Go on, crank it down. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, sir. Ooh. Whoa. Huh? Whoa. It wants to really land. Yeah. <laughs> I better take a warning from that. Yes. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is from the book of Revelations. He who has oh, oh sorry, sorry. Watson. <laughs> he who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Uh, to what churches? What does the Bible mean? Oh, well, well, those words are found in the beginning of every one of the letters to the seven churches. See, in John's vision, Jesus told him what to write to the letters of seven different churches. Oh, just like the seven just camps. Do you mind, Watson, just a minute. Guys, oh. guys can we do Camper's Code over here? Because oh, we're code. trying to read the letters. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, it is just like the letters to the seven camps. And these letters included things like encouragement or warnings and promised rewards in heaven for those who were faithful. Oh. Hey, you know what? Why don't I show you? Absolutely. All right. I've got some letters right over here. All right. Uh, just like the seven letters that... John wrote to the churches. So uh, here you go. Why don't you read one? All right. So the first one is from the church of Smyrna. Right. Um, Smyrna. Jesus encouraged them not to be afraid of the hard times ahead that they would suffer for their faith. Okay. Well, pin that on the board. And let's see what he said. Jesus promised them if they stayed faithful, they would get the crown of life as a reward in heaven. Oh, well, well, these will be our warnings and these will be our rewards, That's all right? What's the next idea. church? Okay, what the, the next, next one is the church 
in Sardis. Oh, the church in Sardis. That sounds exotic. Um, this one is to the church in Sardis. Jesus warned them to wake up their faith, repent, and obey. And Jesus promised all who repented and obeyed that he would keep their names in his book forever. Oh, well, that is good news. Yeah. Huh? Um, the next one, I believe, was to the church in Philadelphia. Now, that's not the Philadelphia here in the United States. No, not States. in Pennsylvania, no. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Um, he told them that they were running out of strength, but... If they stayed strong, that they, until the end, he would write his new name on them. Oh, so that, well, what does that mean, the new name? Well, it's like God gives them your name. Just like your dad gives you his last name, you would have God's name. Oh, that makes sense. All right, the next one is to the church in Ephesus. Uh, Jesus was pleased with what they were doing, with what they were doing oh, but now they were starting to put other things first. Mm. He warned them to return to the ways they did things when they first started to follow Jesus. And look, Jesus said that if they would return to obeying him, they would eat from the tree of life. Oh, wow. <laughs> All That's, right, who's next? Um, I believe it was the church in Pergamum. Pergamum. Um, 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 uh, I think it's just the one mum. Oh, okay. Uh, Pergamum. <laughs> yes. Um, they were doing good things, but believing in false teachings about Ooh, God. Wow. Jesus promised if they came back to his teaching, he would give them a stone with a new secret name on it and hidden manna. Is that like the bread that God gave to his followers in the desert? It is. Kind of like, give us this day our daily bread. Oh, just <laughs> like Got some bread right yeah. there. Now, the next letter we're going to read is from the church in Thyatira, or oh. Thyatira. And Jesus encouraged them for their love and good deeds, but warned Warn them not to follow false teachings. Oh, well, that is good. Um, and he said, Jesus promised that those who stayed away from sin would uh, rule other nations. So if you stay away from sins, you can rule other nations. Wow. My kind goodness, of that's some, a lot of power. Yeah, getting Unless some royalty so there. Long, yeah. Last letter, the seventh letter, is from the church of Laodicea. Oh, Laodicea, that's hard to pronounce. Um, yeah. uh, it says Jesus told them that they were lukewarm. Warm? Ooh. I don't know what that means. Well, you know when you first meet Jesus and you ask him into your heart, you're yeah. kind of on fire. You feel all warm inside and you're, you're just so excited to serve the Lord. But sometimes after we've been serving him for a while, we cool off a little bit and we get kind of lukewarm. Oh, so Jesus wants us to stay close to him. And if we do... He invites us to sit with him on his throne. Wow. <laughs> well, that's a pretty nice reward. That is impressive. So look at that. We've got, uh, we get a crown. We get put in the royal book. We get to rule and sit on the throne. It's kind of like we get to be near royalty because he's <laughs> the king. Uh, hey, yes. I wonder if today's animal is a royal one. Oh, Let's check out our creature feature. Creature feature. <laughs> Let me read that rhyme. His legs are thick, his ears are grand. Largest animal on land. Oh, what do you think it is? Is it what the elephant? I, 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 the, the elephant is the largest animal on land. Is it? Oh, it is the elephant. You got it. Oh, look at his ears. They're Ooh, so large. He does have large ears. And you know what? Speaking of ears. He who has ears to hear. Ooh. That's what it said in the Bible. That reminds me of another verse. Watson, jump on that scripture cycle. Yes, We've got to get to an important verse. Kids, let him know when he's getting close to Kazinga. All right. Let me know. How am I doing? Yeah. I made it. Thank you. All right. Oh, here it is. This is a very important verse. It says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. Oh, so Jesus knocks at the door of all of our hearts. And if we invite him in, he'll be our Lord forever. That's it, Watson. And that's why God picked the elephant. God is teaching us just like an elephant to have ears that listen 
for his and to be able to answer his knock. Oh, when I look at this list of warnings, I feel like I've done all of these wrong things. Well, you know what? We all do disobey God sometimes. Yes, well, yes, yeah, sometimes I, I lose my strength and I forget to put Jesus first in my life. We all do. You know what? Sometimes we believe false teachings oh, yes. or, uh, or we forget to love Jesus enough and we get kind of lukewarm. But the good news is God always gives us another chance. He always stands at the door and knocks. Yes. And our hearts listen for that knock, remember? Yes, and if, and if we let him in, he'll teach us to do things his way. And look at all of the rewards that you'll receive if you're faithful. Ah, oh, that's great. Well, we want to stay strong and faithful. Why don't we teach the kids to be strong by teaching them the campers code? Absolutely. Stand to your feet, campers. Raise your right hand and say it with us. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. <laughs> well, we've got to deliver all those letters to the churches. So why don't we have Miss Mary Lee come up and lead you in the Camp Critter Thong. All right, boys Bye, and guys. Week. Bye, friends. Well, before we do that, we've got to raise our flag. So would you like to come up here and help me raise my flag, Miss Carolyn? Come on over here. We can take this off. and You can raise that on raise up. It up. Raise up the mighty elephant. And would you like to be my engineer? Oh, come on over here and wait for me. Very Thank good. you. Very nice job. Well, you can have a seat, Miss Caroline. Thank you. And we have a friend up here, Justin, who's going to help us with our train. But you know what? I think instead of going slow and then faster, we're just going to get it right on started because it's gotten really long. What do you think about that? I think that's a great idea. Now, who can tell me what our camp critter was this week? It's on the flagpole. An elephant. No. And we just learned that elephants have really big ears so that they can hear. But you know what else elephants do when they walk through the forest or through the jungle? They make a lot of noise, don't they? So they kind of go stomp, stomp, stomp. So let's all do that together. Stomp, stomp, stomp. 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 All right, Justin, are you ready to get this train going? All right, let's get it going fast, Howie. Ch -ch 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 Stomping by Jumped on the train Let out a cry Stomp, stomp, stomp Use your ears The warning's clear God's word is there For us to hear The elephant is here To lead the way Stomp, stomp, stomp The gorilla is here To lead the way The kitten is here To lead the way The race horse Engineer, and you can have a seat.